So I came across a video earlier and basically it was talking about how guys are being hit quite hard in terms of relationship breakups. And it started me thinking about my experiences, my background and where I've come from. And the overall thought process was, well, yeah, it makes sense. As many people sort of say, it's like guys don't have emotions, guys don't have feelings. And yet yeah, that seems to be the case of then the umbrella comes out and it's all men and all guys and all people of a certain type. So I was then looking at the application of that from my side and just looking at it from a perspective of, well, I show up for relationships and I give my all. And then when you think about how you then show up in a relationship, it's obviously the relationship to self as well as obviously the relationship to others. And what was in this video was that guys will treat their partner like they're their daughter so obviously you'll get that protection element you'll get all of the interaction side that would be as if that's the case and then they were saying that from the women's side of things that they actually treat their partner like they treat their dad so that then started getting me to think a bit more as to well when we're children you get brought up understanding that the parent you can do without a parent so obviously as you grow as you develop as you age you naturally go away from the parental figure and yet when you're the child you don't have that disconnect or you don't have that separation in the same sense because obviously the parent child bond is different to obviously the child parent bond so when we have these different bond types a lot of guys will treat their partner and show up in a relationship as if they were treating their child. Whereas from the perspective that they were talking about, it's like women tend to treat their partner like their dad. So obviously there's a, an element of separation there whereby you never truly bond. And then if we take that a step further, we're then looking at, well, if you're going into any of these relationship dynamics, then there is a healthy boundary and there is a healthy level of getting involved in these types of relationships without skewing the masculine feminine dynamic. But then we've also got the flip side, which is, well, hold on, how does your childhood trauma then feed in to that relationship dynamic? Because if you look at it from the sense of you have women going in with the father based projection of their partner, then the question is, how good a man was that father to them as the daughter? Because what you're going to get involved in is you're going to get the backlash or you're going to get everything that wasn't said from that dynamic thrust basically into your relationship. And then when it shows up in terms of that relationship, then you're technically having to deal with all of the unresolved trauma from that dynamic from childhood. And then when we start to expand this and open this up, there is a lot of protectiveness from the feminine side, whereas if their masculine, which would have been their father at the time, wasn't a strong protective role model and wasn't there providing that level of safety, then it basically opens them up to be heavily guarded, heavily restricted, and then subsequently they have to step into their masculine. But then if you're taking that masculine insecurity because you weren't ever made to feel safe from childhood, into a new relationship where the gender role is the same but the assignment and also the interaction is with a different person and a different energy then we step into the realms of what's known as healing but through different mirrors that are those relationships and when you have these different mirrors in terms of those relationships then subsequently the projection gets made onto somebody who wasn't the original perpetrator in the first place so going back to the origins, how do we correct those dynamics and balance those energies from a place of actually getting to a position whereby we're community based, we're family driven and orientated, not separation and all of these other societal structures that want to break families down and want to bring separation between individuals, whereas humans are obviously community based because we need that interaction. We need that level of safety and security in numbers. And yet the narrative these days just seems to be a case of going against that. But wrapping this back around to the original point, it's like if we're going to treat each other in those dynamics and yet we're never educated on what those dynamics truly are, 
then how are we ever going to get to a position whereby we start to use our own critical thinking, we start to use our own healing, and we start to look at relationships from a place of mending and bridging the gaps that these traumas have created from childhood in order to create stable, safe environments that are secure moving forward so that we're not having all of these breakups, we're not having all of these unconscious moments whereby there's dissociation, whereby you're treating somebody from cellular memory or that expression or that suppression that was never allowed to be expressed from that childhood. When we sit and look at these things, we're then in a position then whereby we can start to heal from them and we can start to build those bonds rather than having these dynamics play out, but then they're not being the correct allocation of the correct judgment made against the correct individual. And for a lot of these things, it's coming up for healing because we have all these other astrological elements. We have periodic cycles. You might have planets returning into your star signs. We then have obviously soul plans and things along those lines. But when we look at it from like a, a holistic perspective, and when we look at it from the whole rather than the separation or the isolation, then what we can start to do is realize that everything is unified and we can start working towards a solution that is lasting rather than papering over the cracks or changing the person that you're with because somebody else is just going to come along and just mirror the same element from a different perspective. But when we get to the stage of having to look at self and that self-reflection element, we're taught to look outside of us for something, whether that be authority or safety or protection. Whereas the lack of the internal, in terms of all of those elements, subsequently means that we're not going to get to a place whereby we do find them externally because they're not internal in order for us to project outwardly in the first place. So the question is, how are your relationships? How do you show up in your dynamics? Is there childhood trauma there? Is there unresolved issues? And how are you working through them? So let me know in the comments and maybe let's get this conversation started. And as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.